All right, hey everybody, we're gonna take a look at the Super Duty, the Ford Super Duty F-250. How are they coming in? If you are gonna buy one right now, what are the prices looking like on this bad boy? Um, are there any deals available? That's what we're gonna dive in. And how many are available? You know, that kind of thing. When should you start working the deals? Uh, we do these on a lot of different vehicles and right now it is on the F-250. So let's dive right into it. So we're gonna go to Auto Trader for a lot of this because today we're gonna do it differently. Rather than go Auto Trader and then go to go from Auto Trader to Car Gurus to cars.com like I normally do for you uh, because we want to specifically search by type on this one and car gurus doesn't give us a lot of good options for that and neither does car so auto trader is our winner here so we're going to dive in but we're going to cover a few different trim levels and a few different features here so you got some ideas but first up f-250 xlt four-wheel drive we are going with the 7.3 liter in this it is a gas motor that i think everybody wants we also will do the diesel here for you in a minute we will do some other trim levels so we're going to dive into this and kind of cover the basis but so we are looking at a 7.3 gas motor, all-wheel drive, crew cab, XLT model, and I don't think I put anything else in there, 2024. So, um, but that's basically what we're looking at. So 7.3 crew cab, um, XLT, F250. We search, or change the search to lowest. What are we coming in at? Well, we're coming in at basically five grand, seven grand, uh, that kind of thing here, $7,000 off. Um, so we're seeing some pretty good deals. You're basically looking anywhere from five to $7,000 off on an XLT kind of spread all over again you have to on auto trader you got to click on them to see where they are located at like here's one for six thousand bucks off uh you have to click on it to see where it is if you click on the actual ad you scroll down to the bottom here it's going to tell you where the dealership is um and where are you come on where do you tell right here uh so this is one is in uh indy or in idaho okay so you can see you got to kind of click on them and bounce around to see where they're at um kind of a downside but for you personally you would just change your search parameters i'm on nationwide you would enter your zip code and change your search parameters how close you want to be to where you are and you can control all of your different features in here, as you can see, you can go through and select the things that you want here. That's what makes Auto Trader so perfect for fine tuning the exact model you're looking for. So you're basically five to seven thousand dollars off on an XLT 7.3 uh, Ford 250. Now, how many of them are there? There is 2,000 of these, basically 1,986 of these on the, around the country right now. So in 2004, the 25s will be coming out soon. These deals will probably be getting better. I'm guessing by about November, December, you might be able to knock another two or three grand off of these. So um, there, there's power here to these, but you could, you know... Like I said, these, these numbers are pretty rock solid. There's no doubt about it. These are pretty good numbers on a super duty type truck. They hold their value so much better than like an F-150 does, which is why you're not going to see F-150 size discounts on these. They're just, they hold their value much, much better. Um, so let's, all right, so Car Gurus, though, like I said, they had basically the same kind of deals. We did the same kind of search here, but it only let me go gasoline. So some of these might not be the 7.3. See, they do say 7.3 on here, so you can can go through here and see some of these also a lot of them are going to be seven three is how most dealers are going to spec them but here's you know eight grand off right here so you're seeing some pretty good numbers on these things that one's an actually a, a crew cab because on this one if I hit crew cab, it drops it down to only 200. See it right here? Crew cab, 200 of them. Extended cab, only 1,400. And then you got unknown and regular cabs. And so, like I said, but here we got 2,000 crew cabs. So we're sticking with Auto Trader for the simplicity of this stuff. So moving on to the next trim, what do we got here now? If we look at the XL, okay? Maybe you just want this truck, but you're, you know, a lot of people like simplicity. Doesn't get more simple and less tech and less BS to go wrong than it does in the XL model. So we picked a gasoline engine. Uh, we got the XL, crew cab, um, all-wheel drive, XL model. So we're four-wheel drive, crew cab, XL. And uh, you can see in here too, same kind of deal. We're coming in nine grand off. Well, we got same thing, eight, seven, eight, nine grand, that kind of thing in here. Um, some pretty decent deals here. We're getting uh, five, we're getting seven grand off. So these deals are here for you. Um, in the XL model as well too. And the XL's got a few more. There's 5,000 of the XL's. Keep in mind, most XL's are going to be white in color because they are considered fleet type vehicles. But you do see, you will find other ones out there. But a lot of them are going to, majority will be white because they are a fleet type truck um, in the XL model. Uh, moving on from there, next one over here we got. This one we did an XLT, um, but this time we did the diesel. 
Okay, so you're going with the actual diesel motor in here, crew cab, XLT. Uh, so what are we getting in here? Pretty good numbers. We're doing all right. You know, here, this one basically $11,000 off on this particular one. Where is it? Let's take a look at this puppy real quick here and see. Um, but yeah, we're $11,000 off on this one. And uh, it's got the 6.7 diesel. <coughs> and uh, where are we at here? Where's our dealer? It's always a pain to right here. Um, this one is in uh, uh, VA. So this is a uh, circle. So yeah, there you go. Um, and uh, what's our, how long have we been on? Uh, um, how long have we been on the market? Is this one telling me here? Not giving me any info on that. KBB telling me right here. So we know pricing history. Um, it went, look at this, went down 3000 bucks basically in a few days. It's not giving me any more info on there. Uh, like I said, you don't get a lot of that info on Auto Trader, but look at the fair market price. They're saying 65 to 69. This one's coming in at 59. It's a pretty good deal. Now, um, is that, you know, does that mean you're going to get that exact one? No, maybe not. It could be a thing, but overall, when we look at a lot of these, we're still coming in eight, nine thousand dollars off on these trucks. Okay, somewhere in that neighborhood. Seven, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, kind of your average that you're seeing on here is deals. And uh, there's how many of them available as a diesel? There are 1,543 diesel XLT crew cab F250s left for 2024 on Auto Trader right now. So lots of options here for you too. And their numbers, like I said, are coming in pretty decent. I do expect them to get better when we get a little later in the year. Um, now this one here, diesel also but in the XL. We go to the XL model with the diesel. We got 1,579 of these. Same thing, lowest price, and we are seeing pretty good prices on these too. Uh, here's one for nine grand off. So you're seeing some pretty pretty decent uh, um, type deals in here. Same, the, the deals are basically the same for all the trim levels, all the way through it, all the way across the board. And we're seeing on this one here too, XLT. Um, I don't remember how I set this one up. What did I do with this one? This was an XLT uh, all-wheel drive. Um, I don't think I made any, I don't know why I redid this one here. I left it right at that. But anyway, we're seeing uh, basically same deals on these things as far as your, uh, did I, uh, yeah, lowest price. I, I don't know why it's only showing me 23. Oh, sorry. Now I know why. <laughs> Makes sense. Now, I wanted to see if there were any 2023s available out there. That's our difference. See, we're at a 2023 F250 XLT for sale. Okay, and we did, uh, let's do one, they're nationwide, and we have 156 of these. There's 156 uh, 2023 is available around here, but you can see the prices are no different. The discounts are no different. So it's really not that worth even looking at a 2023 because the, the discounts are, are basically the same as you can get on a 2024. So stay with the 2024. 2023, not worth it. And when we look at, the, and again, when you look at how few of them there is, that means that by the end of this year, even in the beginning of next year, these ones here where we got, um, we have 15 or 1600. Here we have uh, 15, four, let's just do this. Uh, let's just do, uh, well, these are your different trim levels. So we'll leave it at that. So, um, so these numbers are going to dwindle. These trucks are going to be sold, but the deals right now are pretty good. Once the 25 start hitting the lots and they become there, these deals will get better. And there's enough of them out there that it might be worth holding on a little bit longer to get a better deal. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Put any comments down below what you think. Uh, if you're going to find any, if you buy any, put the deals in there because people love seeing that. Uh, you know, they get to see what the value is and what real world people are buying them for as well, too. So, all right. Thanks for watching.